for that reason, I'm saving Jess and Johnny. There we have it. Jess and Johnny are safe. That means Rog and Carol Ann will be leaving the dance floor. Pleasure to dance with you. Well, he joined us last week as an advertorial host wannabe. Actually, did a pretty good job, I think. Uh, in fact, I think we found your next job, Rod, mm. when, when this whole <laughs> radio thing goes <laughs> belly up. Uh, he joins us now, though, as the latest Dancing with the Stars alumni, welcoming rocking Rog Farrelly and dance partner Carol Ann. Yes. Thanks, guys. Welcome, guys. If you've got a vol, fry pan, anything, I'll try and sell it. Um. <laughs> Excellent. Well, I was, I was watching our interview of, of last week, yeah. and I realised that I, well, I spent far too much time fixating on your mesh vest, and it made me look a bit creepy. So I'm sorry about that. It's amazing. It's like uh, this whole journey, if I call it a journey of eight weeks, the most talked about thing is the mesh <laughs> and you just kept on talking yeah, about yeah, it. Exactly. Like, and it's I, like, just and it I wore again. it twice on TV for 90 seconds. <laughs> I know, I know. But, um, but we'll hey, never forget it. We'll yeah, be Carol we'll, Ann. No. Never, never. So, Rog, the, the judges, you know, called you twinkle toes, mm, yeah. you know, they loved you. Were you surprised how far you actually got in this competition? Uh, yeah, it's funny you say that, Mike. The judges did call me. They, they were, they, some dancers, they'd rave about me or our dancing. Then they'd give me a six. So, <laughs> It was, um, they're all over the show. Mixed it's, messages. They're all, they were mixed yeah. messages. They're all over the yeah, show. Did you were. expect to get this far? Uh, no, not not to eight weeks. No, right. um, Carol Ann and I spoke about this. No, we didn't um, expect to get that far. What did you, where did you think you'd get to, Carol Ann? Well, we spoke about it earlier on um, as we were going into week one and two and thinking, you know, how far do you think we can get? And we thought we'd be really happy if we got to week four. Mm. So getting to week eight, he was... Yeah. Uh, he was a rock star, and seriously. Yeah. And how has it been well. teaching Rog? Because, I mean, obviously you, you scope him out at the beginning and see what sort of natural rhythm he's got, and then you obviously work the dances to that. I mean, how's it been for you? Yeah, no, great. He's um, He's been an absolute pleasure, seriously. Um, we've, we've got on well. Um, he's done everything that I've asked him to do. He's put his own flavour into it. So he's, you know, after a few weeks he started saying, well, can I do this and can I do that? And, and so and I'm like, no. Yeah, why not? <laughs> <laughs> hey, why not? There was <laughs> so what's the worst that can happen? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> there was like some weeks like the Samba, the, the Samba week where I was just, couldn't get a move because my hip movement was terrible and Carol Ann's so good at it. And I just said to Caroline, I'm not going to be able to learn this move, so let's just floss instead. <laughs> so that's, that's half the reason we just throw these moves in, because I just couldn't learn the original, so let's do something. Well, that's good. It's adding your own flavour to it. Uh, yeah, no, yeah, and this yeah. is why I've said this a lot today um, and yesterday. She just let me do any Like, some dance partners would have been quite strict. Said, no, we've got this as a dance show. We've just, you know, you've got to be technically great. But Caroline has done this show before. She's won this show before. Yeah with Norm Hewitt, she's been a judge. She knows it's an entertainment show. Yeah. And so yeah. this is why you've got to entertain, um, and that's what we did. You want to floss, you just yeah. go ahead and yeah. floss. Yeah. It was more like towel drying. <laughs> it, wasn't a, it wasn't the greatest, like, yeah, was it? True. No, no. Now, I, have you ever danced before? Because I used to kick around with you yeah. at Gov's Tavern, in, yeah. uh, Gov's Tavern in, in yeah. Hamilton. I, you know, a lot of music, but I don't think I've ever seen you dance. No, no, I haven't, no. And oh. people think, oh, people go, oh, the only dance I've ever danced at is at my wedding. But even most weddings, people don't really dance. They probably think they're dancing. Yeah, you know, yeah. they might think they're doing a dance, but they're, they're not. No. Not really. They're doing some steps. They're doing some steps. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it's probably not in time. So, yeah. no, it's, it's, a, it's no, absolutely not. And most people have never danced like we have to dance on this show. Yeah. Did and your heart thump fast every time you're doing a live show? Yeah, it was absolutely terrifying. I bet. It was absolutely terrifying. I'd be all right until about, I don't know, 20 minutes before. Then the countdown starts, and it's. It's a mo every week. It didn't. I thought it might get easier every week, and it didn't. It's amazing. But you didn't get to decide to be on this in private like everybody mm. else to do because you mm. got stitched up mm. by your on-air mm. colleagues Andrew Mulligan and Bryce, um, Casey, yeah. Bryce yes. Casey. They yeah. really stitched you up, didn't they? They really did. Yeah. Um, what were your first thoughts about that whole thing? Were uh, you like you oh, guys? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm right. gonna get you. Yeah. Hard to say no when it's in you know live on national radio. Well, you can't because you, you look can't. like a. No, you, you can't. Just so can't. So you've got to give it a go. And, uh, and I thought, well, look, um, yeah, they made me do it. It was there. This opportunities like this haven't come around for me to be on TV on a big show like this. Yeah. So why not take yeah, it and make, see what happens? Make sure you stay in the radio show for a bit longer. Why not? All this, <laughs> yeah. you know, well, that, that, that was, on? you know, that might be another pay. You might, I might get another year contract. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Leon Rat. <laughs> That'd be great, Leon, if you're watching. Oh, don't count on it. <laughs>
Caroline, when when you and Rog fell over, what did you say to Rog to pick him back up again? You know, oh, I mentally. didn't say anything. <laughs> no, we, we just got back up. <laughs> you mean to pick him up? Mentally, uh, uh, yeah. Mentally, yeah. mentally. Yeah. Um, well, we didn't really get. You know, you know, it was at the end of the dance and he was a bit disappointed that he fell over, but but actually when we watched it replayed, we actually got back up and got back into it straight away and so yeah. he was like, Well yeah, so we didn't lose her face. He was he was actually more worried that I'd been hurt right. than, than oh, anything else. Oh, so I know, I know. And so what about when he fell over for the second time? <laughs> oh, don't bring it up. <laughs> oh, well, uh, that was that, that was more of a. That, that, that I was just a put, great. I, I just put my Jackson. hand down. I just put my hand down. It wasn't really a fall. If that was a fall, I would have come crashing down the stairs, rolling down. And, Those were some yeah. sweet Michael Jackson dance moves. You went out with such a bang. Yeah, yes. I was. Yeah, no, we yes. did. We did. And that honestly, that was one of the best dances. Um, I was involved in it. Was great to dance with Carol Ann, Johnny, Enrique, Jess, Shav. Yeah. Uh, we there was the first eights we got. There was the highest score we got. Yeah. Um, so what a way to go. Yeah. And, yeah. and Carol Ann, I would imagine people ask you all the time, what is Roger really like? Because he, mm -hmm. everyone knows him as as the rock guy. Yes. How would you describe him to your friends and family? He's exactly as you hear him on the radio. So as I said um, to him earlier, I'm mm. gonna I'm gonna miss having him around. Yeah. I'm gonna miss that voice and the laugh. Um, because I heard a lot of it over the last yeah. <laughs> over the last eight weeks. Um, or crying, I was crying a lot. <laughs> make, make sure you get him to do your answer phone. Before, you know, <laughs> oh, he's yeah. Yeah. Voice for it. Yeah. Uh, so there's a couple yes. of weeks left in the competition. Who do you think is going to win the show? I mean, realistically, both of you. Yeah, people have asked me this. Uh, I think you asked me this two weeks ago. Yeah, we're going to ask you again. Yeah, no, that's fine. I don't mind. Um, <laughs> I thought Jess was going to win it. Now I think Sam's going to win it now. Oh. Yeah. And you yeah. said to Sharon a couple of weeks ago, this is the best thing you have mm. ever done. Mm. Mm. Uh, is that a true statement? Yeah, it was. I mean, I did say that. I must probably got a bit carried away. And then um, we got landed yeah. with a second dance. Birthday your kids. Uh, well, yeah. yeah, that's what my wife Married. said. Yeah, yeah. That's a good yeah. Good one. yeah. Oh, no, I'll look back and it was definitely top Love three. It. Okay. Just nice work, how, can it, how can it not be? Exactly. Eight weeks. Yeah. Hey, just quickly, um, Caroline, who do you awesome. think is going to win as professional? Oh, mm. It really is hard to say. Um, I have to say that um, Sam is is looking like she's heading for the win, but it changes every mm. week, so who knows? Who knows? Love hey, who knows? Thank you so much. You. Lovely to have you both yeah. in here. Great to be back. Um, make sure you keep watching Dancing with the Stars Sundays at 7 and Mondays at 7.30 on 3. There are only five couples left in two weeks to go, so we're really getting down to the crunch time now. And don't forget that you can catch any episodes that you've missed on 3 now.